Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good afternoon everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to thank to all the followers and also uh, Sifu Times fan, uh, which is uh, you are willing to spend your uh, precious uh, weekends with family uh, to be with us uh, for the whole day uh, to learn about uh, Excel. Okay, it's uh, all about Excel for today. Uh, we have uh, trainers from the morning session. Okay, and then we have another, I think, uh, eight or uh, eight, uh, another eight topics uh, at the evening. Okay, so uh, just stay with me. I, I know uh, now is your lunch uh, lunch time. Okay, just give me another 30 minutes. Okay, before uh, we break for uh, lunch uh, session. Okay, so um, about my topic. Okay, let me share my screen first. Okay, before that, uh, I hope. Uh, everything is clear, kan? You boleh dengar suara I? Okay, let me yes, share my yes. screen first. All right, thank you. All right, okay. So my topic for today is um, how to fix uh, 10 types of error in Excel. Okay, I believe that uh, most of us have seen um, at least uh, six um, out of 10 uh, of the errors, and uh, sometimes we take. Uh, a lot of time to figure out uh, the errors in Excel. Okay, so my job today is uh, to give a clear picture uh, about uh, Excel errors and how to fix uh, all these kind of errors. Okay, so, um, all right. So let's see for the first one. Okay, uh, basically, um, every uh, Excel, okay, Excel function comes with uh, their own terms and uh, condition. Okay, so if we break the terms and condition, so, uh, or the function are avoided, then um, you will see all these uh, Excel errors. And every function has their own syntax, okay? And we must apply all the syntax properly. Uh, and then if any deviation is observed in entering the syntax, then there will be an error, okay? All right, so understanding the Excel error are very important uh, uh, as soon as that we understand the function, okay? So all this uh, error display um, and tell us a lot of things. So we need to understand and with a proper understanding of uh, Excel errors means we can easily solve uh, all these, uh, all those errors. All right, so let, let us see um, uh, a few samples, okay? So this is uh, a few samples that we usually see in Excel. Okay, the first one is about uh, values error. Okay, if you can see, okay, I believe we always see this kind of error. Okay, value uh, divide by zero, and then we have numbers, right? And uh, we have names errors, okay? And we have a reference errors. Okay, I just pick uh, a few of uh, 10 errors. Okay, I just picked a few. Okay, actually, uh, I will be presenting 10 types of error, but uh, I will demo only for eight types of error uh, because of limitation of the version that I'm using. Okay, because I'm using Excel 2019. Okay, why I'm choosing another two errors to be included in my presentation? Uh, because this is for uh, Office 365, okay? All right, so let's see um, our first example. Okay, our first example. Okay, the first one. Okay, if you can see, uh, I have a list of part numbers uh, starting from bearing, uh, gear, widget pop, and also bold. Okay, I have a list of price. Okay, and then uh, for this example, I'm going to use the um, VLOOKUP function because a not available function is, um, error is usually uh, appear when we do a VLOOKUP. Okay. So actually, um, okay, let me check the, the sample first. All right, for the part number, let's say I'm, I'm searching for price for gear. Okay, let's say for gear, I will type gear here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the VLOOKUP, okay, to search for the gear price. 
Okay, V lookup. Okay, and then uh, our lookup value will be D3. Okay, comma. And then the next one will be the, uh, my table array. Okay, this is my table array. So, and then I will lock my table array. Then followed by column index number. Since we only have two columns here. Uh, and then I'm searching for the price. Means price is column number two. So, I will put two. Then followed follow uh, follow up by the range uh, lookup which is uh, i'm going to search uh, the exact match for the price okay and then i will i will enter okay so in this example i can see when i do some um, searching okay let's say um, let's say i put another things another part key bearing okay i will get the answer uh, price 70 ringgit and 50 cent and then one more, COG, or, sorry. Okay, let me delete this one, COG. Okay, all right. What happened if I try to search uh, part number that is not in the list or not in our table? Let's say I'm searching for nail. And then I will get these types of error, NA. NA means not available, all right. For this kind of uh, error, okay, what we can do actually, okay, I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to use the formula auditing uh, tools because uh, from my experience when I conducting uh, Excel classes, not a lot of people are using the formula auditing tools. Okay, let's see uh, uh, what Excel try to tell us. For example, okay, we have. Um, the error checking notification, but most of the participants or users, they always ignore the error message here. Okay, we have a list of uh, info here. Okay, value is not available in error. Help on this error, show calculation step, ignore or edit in formula bar. Okay, all right. So whatever we have here, actually we can find the, the same uh, in our formula auditing group okay let's say i'm using okay i try to use the evaluate formula from here okay from here let me zoom a bit okay i have v lookup okay i have v lookup okay next is d3 d3 is nail okay when i click evaluate so from here i will see nail then click another evaluate I will get the evaluation uh, not available errors. Okay, all right. So what is the solution of um, what is the solution of this uh, kind of error? Okay, first you need to um, cross check uh, every or each column and cell that are if the data is placed correctly or not. Okay, so in this example, okay, let's see. <clears throat> Okay, we know that now uh, nail is not available in our data. So what can help us to um, solve this problem is by using the if error function. Okay, so we can put some um, uh, tags or notes uh, for the items that are not available in the table. So I'm going to add uh, if error function. Okay, if error function. So from here, okay, this is all the value for the VLOOKUP. Okay, I will, okay, put a comma and what is the value if error? Let's say um, I put a NOT, NOT valid. Okay, then I will get an uh, message, NOT valid. Okay, let me try something else. Also not valid. Key bold. Okay, then I will get the answer. Okay, so usually for uh, for the not available uh, error, okay, uh, it happens uh, when you try to search something that is not exist in the table. Okay, right. Let's move to another one. Okay, error number two is value. Okay, for this example, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to show you the error for value and divide by zero. Okay, in this example, I have column for budget and then I have column for the actual. 
All right. So I'm going, I'm trying to find the uh, how many percent of income that I use uh, for the expenses. Okay. For your information, all the cell here, I have uh, been uh, formatted as a percentage uh, format. So that's mean I, I just can simply divide the amount in C11 divide by uh, C8. All right. So let me type the formula okay, C11 divide by C8. All right to get the percent of income. And then I will enter. So for the first example, I already get the answer 25.6%. All right. So uh, let's see what happened when I copy, okay, or double click, and then I will get these two kind of errors. Okay. The first one is value, and the second one is divide by zero. Okay, let, let us check. Um, what is um, the error message that uh, Excel try to uh, inform us? Okay, the first one, the value used in the formula is in the wrong data type. Okay, actually this is the error message. Okay, how to find or how to check why this kind of problem appear? Okay, let's use our formula, formula auditing uh, group or tools. Okay, from here we have three precedents to find, okay, to check our error. So let me use the first one, three precedents. So this error show that indicates which cell that are affected, uh, the value of the currently selected cell. Okay, because I'm clicking on the uh, cell D12, okay, let me check. Okay, the value here comes from, okay, cell C12, this is cell C12, and this one is cell sorry, C9, this one is cell C12. So that's mean the formula will look like this, actual divide by what? Okay, the number can 200 something here. Okay, the number. So this is tax, this is number. Okay, so for the value, it happens when the value of the two cell uh, is not in the same format. Okay, if you can see, the, the first one is actual, is a text, and the second one is number. Okay, second one is number. So, um, this is the first one. All right, let us check the second one, divide by zero. Okay, I'm going to use the same method, okay, to check, okay, for the three precedents. Okay, divide by zero. From the error itself, actually, we can clearly uh, notice that, um, why we get this kind of error? Because we divide by, we divide by zero. Okay, divide by zero. Same, if you can see, see this is a C13 and this is the number. We have a zero value here. Okay, we have zero value, blank, blank cell. All right. So, um, that's mean we have something wrong with our cell reference. Uh, it's supposed to be because we should refer to the same cell which is cell C8. So that's mean we need to lock this cell. So I'm going to change my first formula here. Okay, C8, I'm going to lock this one. Okay, and then enter. So when I copy the formula or double click, it seems like when I check, Everything randomly, I, I randomly click, okay? All the cell here is referring to the same cell, C8, because we already locked the cell, all right? So, so this is um, the sample uh, example of two types of, two types of error. So if you can see, <clears throat> so the solution for divide by zero and divide by, um, uh, sorry, uh, value error is by checking your checking your uh, formula. Is it you are the, you are using the same uh, format of data or not? And then another one is obviously because uh, divide by zero. So you need to change the formula. Okay. So next one. Okay. Next one is error name. Okay. Error name. Okay. Let me. Okay. 
for the first uh, in our first example for the not available i'm using uh, vlookup okay i'm using vlookup to uh, to find the price for our product okay right i'm going to use the same formula vlookup okay in this example okay vlookup and, and then my value followed by my table array okay i can lock this one also f4 and then my column index followed by this. All right. So in this example, we don't have any problem because I'm correctly uh, typing my formula. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I put S. Okay, V lookups. Okay, let's see. I put S. Okay, I add S. That's mean I'm wrongly type the formula then you will get this kind of error right so it happened actually uh, if the case that the formula that you type okay you wrongly type the formula so excel cannot recognize the formula okay all right so this is the name so solution for this one simple okay you can use the evaluate formula also okay to check okay just click on the error message and then you click the evaluate formula to check right so now you can see vlookups okay vlookups we got s here there and then click evaluate from here from here you know that okay we get the error that means something wrong with your formula it's not your syntax behind it's about your formula so you need to change your formula okay use the correct um, spelling okay and then the correct syntax so let me delete the s then you you will get back uh, the correct answer okay so that one is uh, error number one two three error number four okay let's move to the next one okay let's move to the next one is number error okay number error okay for the number error okay um <clears throat> okay. In this example, I'm going to use a square root function, okay, for the example here, okay, and then I'm going to use the square root, okay, the square root function is used to return the square root of the number, <clears throat> and the number is A3. As a reference, okay, and then I will get the answer seven. Means seven times seven is forty nine, right? <clears throat> seven times seven is forty nine. So when I double click, okay, for the second one I will get twelve. Means twelve times twelve is one uh, hundred and forty four. But the third one, okay, thirty six negative thirty six. I get the error num. Okay, means something wrong with the <clears throat> with the number. <clears throat> so for the num error in Excel, it, it occurs when the value uh, 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 value in the formula is not valid. Okay, mostly it's shown the case where uh, we have a problem with number. In this example, it's because of 36 is a negative value. So when you you adjust the uh, the number input, so the calculation that you perform uh, can be performed and then the error will be disappear. Okay, so if you use the evaluate formula, <laughs> evaluate, so uh, you will get the 36, negative 36, and then evaluate, then this is the error. So just remove the, the solution for this one is, just remove the negative value, and then you will get, you will get the answer. So basically, num error is about the value in the formula is not valid, not the formula, but the value, okay, is not valid. <clears throat> All right, next. The next one, I have another 10 minutes more. Okay, the next one will be reference. Okay, this is the common error that we get, okay, in Excel. Okay, usually, uh, uh, reference error, okay, reference error, uh, 
display the formula reference in cell that is no longer exist in your table or in your data. Okay, let me type the formula first. Okay, let's say we have a unit sold a price. Okay, let me calculate the total price by multiply the C, sorry, B3, okay, to C3. And then I will get the answer 52.5. Then double click. All right. So in this, this uh, example, okay, we get all the answer correctly. Okay, what happened if I ac accidentally delete my column C? Okay. Delete my column C. All right. Then you will get this kind of error reference. That means in a reference uh, error, uh, Excel cannot find the location of the formula. Okay, location of the cell in the formula. So the solution for this kind of problem, okay, this is if you use a trace precedent, okay, uh, you will see um, they are in the same line, but we are missing another one dot. Okay, we are missing another one dot means we are missing another one cell here. So the solution is if you accidentally delete the column, so you just need to undo lah. Or, or what you need to do is you need to retype back manually. Okay, so just type back the formula and put uh, content of the cell. Okay, <clears throat> so in this example, I will insert back Okay, the price. Okay, let me copy this one. Okay, change back. Okay, your reference here. Which is C3. Okay, which is C3. So just put back the C3. Then you will get the answer back. Just double click. Done for this kind of problem. Okay, next one. Okay, the next one is none. Okay, uh, for this uh, kind of error is, uh, I can see that it's re uh, really, really uh, happen. Okay, uh, usually uh, in case of we use an invalid range delimiters, okay, in Excel. Okay, All right, let me total up all the price here. Okay. Usually, okay, usually people will simply click auto sum, right? Uh, senang kan, you nak just click the auto sum and then you will get the answer. Okay, but some people, they love to type the formula. Okay, some people, they love to type the formula. So, just assume that I love to type the formula manually. Okay, I know that I'm using the sum function, okay? And then I will refer to B3, okay? I will refer to cell B3, okay? And then I didn't, I forgot to put the colon. I'm just spacing and then I put the last row, okay, is C7. And then enter. When I enter, then I will get the null error, okay? So null error, okay, again, is happen when um, we use an invalid range of delimiters, okay? <clears throat> All right, so the solution is check back your formula, the syntax, which is I'm missing the colon. You just put the colon and then enter. Then I will get the answer correctly. So this is null function. This is only happen when you uh, type the formula manually. Okay, if you use uh, auto sum or you, you or if you use the um, uh, function argument, let's say you use the function arg argument here, so it will be um, less opportunity to get an error lah, because you already follow the syntax. Okay, and then. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, the next one, the next one is um, hashtag error. Okay, actually, this is uh, this is not a hashtag. Uh, sorry, this is not an error. Okay, uh, I I'm, I'm usually in each session of my classes when we do the calculation, 
I will always get the question, um, Puan, okay, I get an error. What is your error? Hashtag Puan. Uh, hashtag Puan or hashtag Miss. Okay, actually, this is not this is not an error. It's just because of uh, space, okay? The, 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 the content need more space, right? So let, let me uh, do the calculation first. Okay, let's say unit sold times uh, the price, and then I get the answer for the first one. Okay, actually, when I hover the mouse here, I can see the answer, 511 ringgit and 50 cent. But people didn't notice this one. They nampak je this one, dah glaba. Okay, terus, on the mic point, I get the error. Okay, so this is not an error, actually. You just need to make the column more. Okay, or just double click to get the perfect size of your content. Okay, then this is not an error actually. It's just about the space. Okay. All right. So um, I'm done with eight demos. Okay, eight demos for a normal uh, office uh, version. Okay, but uh, for the last two, okay, for the last two for speed and cut. Calculation. Okay, I, I can't do the demo from my version because this one is for uh, Excel 365, but uh, I'm providing you with the screenshot, okay, for you to refer. Okay, let's go for the first one, spill. Okay, for this error, this kind of error, okay, for example, I have the uh, list of value, okay, purple, red, red, pink, black, blue, green, okay. I try to look for a unit value uh, by using the formula unit. When I type the unit uh, formula, okay, so this formula is not uh, available in my version. Okay, I will get this kind of error. If you still remember, the name error is about what? Uh, the name error is about, okay. The formula that I type is not correct or is not exist in my version. So uh, I'm providing you with the uh, screenshot. Okay, for the example, this is for Excel uh, 365. Okay, in, in this example, okay, we have the same, we have the same list of uh, value, the colors, and then we try to find a unique uh, list of colors okay, by using the formula unique. Okay. From here. When I try to extract, okay, the unique colors, okay, and if you notice, we have uh, X, okay, we have X here, okay, when you enter the formula, you will get a spill error, okay, because, because of this X has been placed in between. So the solution is simple. You just need to delete the X and then run the formula again. Okay. So this one, again, is only available for Office 365 users. Okay, so let's move. It's already 1 p.m. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, my last sample is calculation. Okay, simple. Okay, simple example. I have a list of, I have a list of fruits. I have a list of fruits here. Okay, apple, pear, and uh, banana. Okay, quantity is, all these three quantity is more than 100 actually. Okay, so I will try to filter. Okay, let's say I will try to filter um, uh, based on, let's say, uh, apple or pear. Or I want to find uh, something, okay, list of fruits that uh, the quantity is less than 100. So I'm using the filter function. Okay, filter. This is the example. Filter function from C3 until D5. So this is the range. Okay, C3 until D5. And then the value here is D5. D, sorry, D3 until D5. Okay, which is more than one, uh, less than 100. So we don't have anything here that is less than 100, all more than 100. So what you will get is 
calculation. This kind of problem happen when it returns uh, it returns the error because there are no value that is less than 100 in our data. So to solve this kind of problem, so you need to change uh, your criteria or you can add the uh, if uh, empty argument at the end of our syntax. So this is only available for version uh, 365, right? So I have completed all the 10 errors in Excel, okay? I hope that you get uh, something, okay? You get some information, new information that you can apply in your daily um, activities or your daily calculation, right? 